ஐ திஸ் இஸ் எம் திவ்யா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் பயோமெடிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் இன் ஈரோடு செங்குந்தர் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் இந்த செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் யூரினரி சிஸ்டம் ஸோ யூரினரி சிஸ்டம் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஆஃப் த மேஜர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் அவர் பாடி பிகாஸ் மேஜர் எக்ஸ்க்ரீஷன் ப்ராசஸ் இஸ் அக்கர் இன் திஸ் சிஸ்டம் ஒன்லி ஸோ த யூரினரி சிஸ்டம் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் தி ரீனல் சிஸ்டம் ஆர் யூரினரி ட்ராக் இட் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் கிட்னீஸ் யூரேட்டர்ஸ் பிளாடர் அண்ட் தி யூரேட்ரா ஸோ த மேஜர் பர்பஸ் ஆஃப் யூரினரி சிஸ்டம் இஸ் டு எலிமினேட் வேஸ்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி பாடி ரெகுலேட் பிளட் வால்யூம் அண்ட் பிளட் ப்ரெஷர் கண்ட்ரோல் லெவல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரோலைட்ஸ் அண்ட் மெட்டபலைட்ஸ் regulate the ph of blood so these are the major purpose of urinary system so this is the general structure of urinary system so urinary system receives major blood supply from abdominal aorta renal artery and inferior vena cava and also it has the it has parts like kidneys ureter urinary bladder and urethra so in urinary system the major important one thing is that is kidney so they are two bean shaped organs lying on the posterior abdominal wall on each side of the vertebral column so the kidneys are located on each side of the vertebral column so then what are the functions of kidneys so the major important function in urinary system is that is nothing but excretion so excretion of water and waste product of protein metabolism excretion of excess salt excretion of harmful substances like drugs and toxins then regulation of ph of blood so these are the major functions of kidneys so next we are going to discuss about the position of the kidneys so the kidneys extend from the level of last thoracic vertebra to the third lumbar vertebra so the right kidney is smaller than left kidney so compared to right kidney um, left kidney is always larger so each kidney measures 11 cm in length and 5 cm in width and 3 cm in thickness then each kidney is about 150 g in weight then the outer border of the kidney is referred as convex the inner border of the kidney is concave and it is called as hilum so then the blood vessel enter and leave the kidney through this hilum only and adrenal or suprarenal gland is situated at the apex of the kidney so this is about the position of the kidneys next one thing is the structure of kidney so kidney consist of the major part like that is a renal capsule renal column papilla pyramid medulla cortex and two thing that is major calyx and minor calyx then renal artery renal vein and renal pelvis so with this part only the blood vessels are enter the kidneys and ureter so these are the parts of kidney first one is capsule it is the outermost covering composed of fibrous tissue surrounding the kidney next is cortex it is reddish brown layer of tissue immediately below the capsule and outside the renal so it consists of renal corpuscles and convoluted tubules so in here only in cortex portions only nephrons are usually located next thing is medulla so it is innermost layer consists of conical areas called renal trapezes and it is separated with the help of renal columns so there are 8 to 18 renal trapezes in each kidney the apex of 
each renal pyramid is called as renal papilla and each papilla project into a small depression called a minor calyx that is it is also known as pleural calyces so several minor calyces are united together and form major calyx in turn the major calyces join to form a funnel shaped structure called renal pelvis that usually collect the urine and leads to the ureter so the urines are after the formation of urine the urines are collected in renal pelvis and finally it is sent to the ureter so in the in a urinary system with the help of nephrons only uh, the urine is usually created so nephrons has the parts like afferent arteriole efferent arteriole glomerulus bowman capsule and um, proximal convoluted tubule henle loop distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct so these are the major parts of nephrons microscopically the kidneys are made up of number of structural and functional unit called nephron so in simple way we can say the functional unit of urinary system is nothing but nephrons there are about 1 million nephrons in each kidney so if nephron majorly consists of two parts that is renal corpuscle and renal tubules first thing is renal corpuscle so it is made up of an upper expanded end of the renal tubule called bowman capsule next one is glomerulus so it is a tuft of capillaries enclosed by bowman capsule it consists of glomerular capillaries interposed between afferent arteriole at one end and efferent arteriole on another end then the malpighian body is also present in the cortex portion next in one is renal tubules this it is mainly consist of four parts proximal convoluted tubule henle loop distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct proximal convoluted tubule it is uh, coiled a portion arising from bowman capsule it is situated in the cortex region so it is continued as a descending limb of loop called henle so the length of the proximal convoluted tubule is 14 mm and the diameter is 55 micron loop of henle so it is present in the medulla the loop of henle consists of descending limb heparin bend ascending limb so distal convoluted tubule so distal convoluted tubule is the continuation of thin ascending segment and occupies the cortex of kidney so it is continued as a collecting duct the length of the distal convoluted tubule is 14.5 to 15 mm it has a diameter of 20 to 50 micron next part is collecting duct the distal convoluted tubule continues as the initial or arched collecting duct which is in cortex the lower part of the collecting duct lies in medulla and open into the pelvis of kidney so the length of the collecting duct is 20 to 22 mm and its diameter is varies from 40 and 200 micron next one is blood supply to the kidney so we already know the kidney receive the blood supply from renal arteries and renal veins the kidneys are supplied by renal arteries which are branches of abdominal aorta 
venous blood of the kidney is drained by renal veins which open into inferior vena cava next one is ureter so it is the duct which carries urine from kidneys to bladder so after formation of urine in the kidney the urine is collected in renal pelvis then it is furtherly sent to urinary bladder via ureter so it is a tube like structure that is measuring about 26 cm in length it commences from pelvis of kidney so later the ureter is passes down into abdominal cavity and open in the posterior aspects of urinary bladder urinary bladder it is a pear shaped muscular sac which act as a reservoir for urine after um, collection in kidney the urine is passed to ureter then finally it is collected in urinary bladder so the lowest part of bladder is called as base the upper part is called as fundus bladder has three openings two for ureter and one for urethra next one is urethra it is a canal through which the urine passes from bladder to the bladder to the outside so it is different in male and female but sphincter is present in both so the male urethra is it is about 20 cm in length the female urethra it is short about 4 cm in length so with the help of urethra only the actual excretion is happen next we should know about the process of maturation so maturation is a process that is nothing but passing of urine so it is the act of passing urine when urine accumulates in the bladder it produces stretching of its wall so after urine is collected in the area called bladder so automatically it creates some pressure in that part so this raises the pressure in the bladder so this is hacker when 172 to 230 ml of urine has collected in the bladder so this in turn stimulates the afferent nerves of the bladder so then the impulses carry to the higher central which control the maturation so after the pressure is created immediately the information is sent to the higher centers the higher centers are nothing but central nervous system from there some signal is received again to the bladder with the help of efferent nerves then only we have the we have to excrete the urine this is the process of maturation then the formation of urine so the urine formation is usually have three process that is glomerular filtration tubular secretion and tubular reabsorption in glomerular filtration the filtration of water salts and other substances occur in the glomeruli so the glomerular filtrate is a fluid that is formed after filtration so the filtrate containing large amount of water glucose amino acids uric acid urea electrolytes etc in the glomerular capsule is known as a nephric filtrate of glomerular filtrate so the volume of filtrate formed by both the kidneys in each minute is usually referred as glomerular filtration rate in a healthy adult the glomerular filtration rate is about 125 ml per minute that is 180 liter of filtrate are formed each day by two kidneys
so the glomerular filtration uh, in glomerular filtrate usually it filters water salt and other substances next one is tubular secretion so it is an active process which is occur in the convoluted tubules abnormal substances or normal substances present in excess blood are usually eliminated by this process that is potassium hydrogen and drug like penicillin are excreted by tubular secretion process so the tubular secretion of hydrogen ions is very important in maintaining the normal ph of the blood the tubular filtrate is finally known as urine human urine is usually hypertonic so after the process of tubular secretion only the end product that is urine is created so you normally the urine is hypertonic in nature next one is tubular reabsorption as the filtrate passes through the renal tubules useful substances including some water electrolytes and organic nutrients the such as glucose amino acids vitamins hormone etc are selectively reabsorbed from the filtrate then back into the blood in the proximal convoluted tubule so after renal with the help of renal absorption some essential thing also absorbed so daily 6 liters of glomerular filtrate can be formed in 1 hour but the volume of urine eliminated per day is only about 1.5 liters so this resembles so most of the thing is reabsorbed only some unwanted materials only excreted by a urine so it is so nearly 99 percentage of the glomerular filtrate is reabsorbed okay only thing the 1.5 liter of urine only excreted per day by a normal healthy human being so the main function of collecting that is to reabsorb as much water as the body needs so the urine is the fluid that result from the above three process so the urine enter the collecting tubules and then it into the pelvis of the kidney so pelvis is the part where the urine is collected after the formation from there it enters the urinary bladder through the ureter and finally it is excreted by a urethra what is the composition of urine so the normal urine excreted per day is 1 to 2 liters so the color of the urine is pale amber and the odor is aromatic and it is its ph is about 6 that is it is slightly acidic in nature so the urine consists of water to the extent of 96 percentage urea 2 percentage and uric acid and salt is about 2 percentage so these are the composition of urine next one is regulation of blood pressure by urinary system so the kidney regulate the blood pressure in three different ways by adjusting the volume of blood in the body it is happen by regulating the quantity of water in the blood adjusting the flow of blood into in and out of the kidneys via the action of enzyme called renin so the kidney secretes renin which activates the 
angiotensin aldosterone pathway so with the help of angiotensin and aldosterone pathway is blood pressure is controlled inside the urinary system so the renin angiotensin system or ras regulate the blood pressure and fluid balance in the body so the blood when the blood volume or sodium levels in the blood are low or blood potassium level is high the cells in the kidney release the enzyme called renin so the renin converts the angiotensinogen which is produced in the liver to the hormone angiotensin 1 okay an enzyme known as ace or angiotensin converting enzyme found in the lungs that metabolizes the angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2 so the angiotensin 2 causes blood vessel to constrict and blood pressure to increase next one is the angiotensin 2 stimulates the release of hormone aldosterone in the adrenal glands which causes the renal tubules to retain the sodium and water and excrete the potassium so together angiotensin 2 and aldosterone work to raise the blood volume so the blood pressure and sodium levels in the blood to restore the balance of sodium potassium and fluids so if the renin angiotensin system becomes over active consistently high blood pressure results so this is the pathway of renin angiotensin system that is it has uh, it is start at the blood vessels finally it is create some blood vessel, blood pressure inside the kidney next we move on to the urinary reflex so with the help of urinary reflex action only we excrete the urine so it is happen in urinary system that too in the part of urinary bladder so after the bladder is full immediately the sensory information sent to the brain with the help of afferent afferent nerves after from brain the with the help of afferent nerve the information is again received at the part of urinary bladder only we excrete the urine so this is the process of urinary reflux so micturition is the process by which the urinary bladder empties when it become filled so this is happen mainly in two main steps first the bladder fill progressively until the tension in its wall rises above the threshold level this elects the second step that is which is a nerve reflex called a micturition reflex that empties the bladder or if this fails at least causes a conscious desire to urinate so with the help of signals that is received from the brain we excrete the urine so although the micturition reflex is aut- an automatic an autonomic spinal cord reflex it can also inhibit or facilitated by centers in the cerebral cortex or brain system so in this session up to uh, we are discuss about urinary system so and what are the major parts of urinary system that is kidneys and nephrons then how the urine is form inside the urinary system then finally how we excrete the urinary urine that is with the help of micturition process only we excrete the urine
థ్యాంక్ యూ